What's up everyone? I'm back with another video. Today's video will be Moon Signs Part 2. I know a lot of you have been waiting on this Part 2 video, but your girl was a little sick this weekend, but today I'm feeling a little bit better, so here it is. Before I start, if you guys see my background change, that's because right now I'm sitting in front of my window, but the sun is going down very soon, so I'm going to have to switch on my light, so please just excuse the background. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. Libra moons, they're very friendly people, and they're very calm too. And their reactions to things, they're very level-headed. Or if they're not being level-headed, if they're an immature Libra, then they're gonna withdraw they're gonna withdraw from you and that's because libra isn't an aggressive sign they don't like confrontation they just don't like conflict so if you come at them with some sort of drama then they're really going to just stay away from you and also because they're an air sign so they don't like to get too deep when it comes to their conversation so if you come at them with a heavy situation then they're just going to really back away from you. And that's because Libra is ruled by Venus, so they're a very pleasant energy, and they just want to keep things very on the surface and just very peaceful. So a mature Libra moon, they would approach the situation with a level head, and they'll just handle it and just move on. But it, with an immature Libra moon, they're not so much going to deal with their problems. They'll often run away from it because they just don't want to deal with the negativity. That's really going to bother them. The only time a Libra moon will get upset is if they experience any kind of injustice done towards them or anybody that they know, or they just kind of see a random stranger being treated unfairly. That's really going to bother them. So that's the only time you'll see a Libra or a Libra moon get super upset. But other than that, Libras are very calm, cool, and collective, and they just aren't about the drama. What makes a Libra moon comfortable is being in good relations with others. Libras can't stand being on bad terms with other people, so they strive to always have good connections with people. And that's because that really helps with their success in life. When you have good connections with people, then that'll take you very far in life. And Libras understand this the best because they're the masters of relationships. So they understand how to behave in their relationships with people in order to get to the places that they need to be. Another thing is pleasant communication. Libra is ruled by Venus, so Venus is a very pleasant energy. And on top of that, they're an air sign, so they value communication. So if you lack good communication skills or you're just very combative, then you're really going to put a Libra moon off. They value their peace and their harmony. So if you do anything to disrupt that, then that's really going to piss a Libra moon off. You know, they want to feel comfortable to express their ideas with you or their feelings with you. And if they can't do that, then they just don't want to have a relationship with you. And the last thing is balance. So if a Libra moon experiences any kind of imbalance in their life or in their relationships, that'll definitely drive them crazy. They really strive to just keep things neutral and, you know, just keep things very fair in their relationships. So if, if there isn't a fair amount of the give and receive in their relationships, then that's really going to make a Libra moon uncomfortable. What a Libra moon requires in their relationships with other people is fairness peace, as I said earlier, and also good communication with people, as I said earlier as well. If they can't openly express themselves with you, then they're not going to want a relationship with you. And lastly, they like classy relationships. So these are your people who love to go on expensive dates, expensive vacations. These are your people who strive for a very luxurious lifestyle, and they want to share that with their partners or their friends or their family. Whoever they're in close relationships with, they just want to have a very extravagant relationship with somebody. Scorpio moons. Scorpio moons, they're very mysterious and they're very secretive. And the way they react to their environment is very strategic and very unpredictable. And I say this because they're not reactive like an Aries moon. They're the kind of people that kind of sit back and watch you 
and they wait for your downfall and that's when they come into attack and that's when you're gonna be like damn where the fuck did this come from yeah that's a scorpio move for you like they wait until you just fall and you're just already getting dragged and then they just want to go ahead and go sting you and just add to the pain like they just are ruthless motherfuckers like for real <laughs> don't get me wrong not all Scorpio energy is like that. It really just depends on the aspects to your birth chart, especially when we're talking about Scorpio moon. It really just depends on the aspects to the moon. But in general, that's how that energy is, especially if you really upset a Scorpio moon or they're just operating in a very low vibration. That's just how they're going to act towards you. They're just always going to make your life a living hell and they're not going to give a fuck. So just really be careful with Scorpio moons, but other than that, they're very loyal people. What makes a Scorpio moon comfortable is depth. They have to have a really deep relationship with you because they're a very spiritual sign and they like to have deep connection. They can't stand on the surface relationships. So being deep with a Scorpio is very important to them. Transformation is another thing. Scorpios love to transform through their relations with others and if they're if they aren't having a transformative experience with you then they're really going to be turned off by you. Another thing is intensity. Scorpios they live in this energy. They love intense situations. They're a very passionate sign. So if you lack that intensity, a Scorpio will be very very bored with you. Um another thing is sexual connection scorpio rules sex so if the sex ain't good then a scorpio is definitely not going to want to fuck with you so your sex game has to really be on point to keep a scorpio moon around and lastly trust and it takes scorpio a very long time to trust people so just be very open and transparent with them and then over time they'll feel comfortable with you what a Scorpio moon requires in their relationships with other people is loyalty. They like to know that you're going to be their ride or die and that you're always going to stick by their side. Another thing is security because Scorpio is a fixed sign so they just like that routine relationship. If there's just too much chaotic stuff going on in the relationship or too many changes, then that'll really bother a Scorpio moon. And they like emotional and sexual depth. Again, they like transformation and honesty. Scorpio moons, Scorpio suns, whether you have a lot of Scorpio energy, they just can't stand a liar. They will not have respect for you and they'll never trust you. A celebrity that has a Scorpio moon is Beyonce. So this explains why she's a Virgo, but yet she has this very sexy, seductive kind of vibe to her. And... She's a very private person, and as we all know, Scorpio is a very private sign. They keep themselves hidden, so this is why we don't really know Beyonce like that. We just see what she wants us to see, and that's how a Scorpio moon is. They put on display what they want you to see. They don't like it when people pry into their business. Sagittarius moon, so this is my placement. So I'm going to use myself and a lot of my examples because it's just easier. So this moon sign is very humorous, very passionate, and their reactions to things are very quick and blunt. So for me, I can't agree because I'm just a very blunt person. Like I just say things and I don't really think about it until later. Or I do things and I don't really think about it until later either. So it's like when I go back to my past conversations or my past actions, it's almost like, why did I do that or why did I say that? If I did something wrong, like I don't really think about things in the moment. I kind of just go for it and, you know, that's just part of being a fire moon. We don't really think and then react. It's like we just react and then we think later. What makes the Sagittarius moon comfortable is traveling. They love to move around and they have to exert all that fire energy that's pent up or they're just going to feel very agitated. And I'm the same way, like I can't sit still or I can't just stay in one area. I always got to move around and do something. Like I always have to run an errand or me, I always have the travel bug itching me to just travel somewhere. So 
It's like I always just love to take a trip, whether it's a long trip or a short trip. It really feeds my soul because if I'm not getting out there and exploring, then I'm going to feel really depressed. And this is how all Sag moons are. They'll feel very depressed if they're not traveling. They have to travel because it gives them life. If they're just being in a routine for too long, then they're just going to get super aggravated. Knowledge is very important for a Sagittarius moon because they just have to always expand their mind and their soul one way or another, whether it's through physical travel or reading about different subjects and putting it into practice. If they're not expanding their mind, then they're feeling like, or we're going to feel like we're wasting our brain. Like we have a brain for a reason is to fill it up with knowledge. So this is what makes us comfortable. If we're not very knowledgeable in a lot of different subjects or a lot of different experiences, then we'll feel like we don't have anything to offer to the world. We don't have anything to teach the world. And a Sagittarius moon loves to be a teacher because they're natural born teachers. So they always try to make sure that they expand their knowledge in different subjects and have as many experiences as possible in order to teach people around them. Humor and positivity is very important for a Sagittarius moon as well because we can't deal with negative people and we just feel really uncomfortable in negative energy because we feel that shit easily. So when people are just around us and they're just giving out negative vibes, we just don't want to be around them. And we're just very humorous people. We love to laugh. We love to make other people laugh. We love to have fun. You know, we just like to feel good and we like others to feel good around us because it just keeps the positive energy flowing. And, you know, we just don't like to down anybody's mood and we don't like anybody downing our mood either. Also, our belief systems are very important to us. That's definitely what makes us comfortable in life. If we don't have a set belief system, then we're just going to feel very lost in life. What a Sagittarius moon requires from their relationships with other people is knowledge. They love to learn through their relationships because that also helps expand their mind as well. Uh, they love adventure. You know, they like to be spontaneous, so they don't like routine in their relationships. They always like to try new things and get themselves into different kinds of activities with their partners. Um, they love honesty, so keep it real with a Sagittarius moon and they'll have a lot of respect for you. Even if it hurts their feelings, they'll still appreciate your honesty. And lastly, they require freedom. So if you're a very affectionate person or you're just very clingy, you might have a hard time with a Sagittarius moon because they just like to come and go as they please. And they just like to have the freedom to just have their space to just meditate to themselves or even just go out and just do their own thing. Capricorn moon. So Capricorn moons, their emotions are very dry and very serious and their reactions to their environment is very reserved and very quiet and that's because they're an earth sign so they just repress their emotions because they don't have time to deal with emotions. They're not very reactive. And they just don't like to be messy with their emotions. They like to just keep it under wraps and just keep it pushing. What makes you comfortable is work. You guys always have to be working. If you guys are not working, then that's really going to bother you guys. Achieving your goals. So achieving your goals is a very big thing for Capricorn energy in general. Like if they don't have any goals to achieve, then they're going to feel like failures in life. So that's very important for them, especially for a Capricorn moon. If they're not achieving their goals, they're going to feel very uncomfortable with themselves. And another thing that makes them comfortable is being of high status, having a purpose in life. If they don't have purpose in life, then they're going to feel very lost and they're going to feel very depressed. And also being able to be independent and take care of themselves, you know. Capricorn energy, this is a very mature energy. This is the energy of a parent, an adult. 
So they like to know that they could sustain themselves on their own. They don't like to be taken care of. They like to take care of other people. What a Capricorn moon requires in their relationships with people is they have to be around people who have goals, people who are of high status. You know, they can't be around people who are just low lives. They have to surround themselves around people who are going to bring them to their highest pinnacle. They have to be around mature people. They can't stand being around immature people. And they have to be around people who bring out their emotion. And this is because, again, Capricorn is an earth sign, so they just don't have time to feel. They just don't want to feel. They just want to focus on their work and, you know, just go about their business. But it'll be nice for a Capricorn to just be in touch with their emotions and, you know, just be very affectionate with people around them. And lastly... They need to be around people who bring fun into their lives. And this is because Capricorn is a very mature energy and they're always at work all the time. They just don't have time to have fun. So any fire sign or water sign would do great with a Capricorn because these are the people who are going to remind them that, you know, they could relax. They could let their hair down. They could smell the roses and they don't have to be at work all the time. Aquarius moons. So Aquarius moons are very erratic and they're very detached and that's because they're an air sign so they're not fond of emotions and their reactions to their environment is very random and that's because they're ruled by Uranus and Uranus is associated with electricity and this is where Aquarius gets their burst of energy from is from being attuned to electric currents and this is why they oftentimes do random things or they feel random things. And what makes an Aquarius moon comfortable is being an individual. They love to rebel against the societal norm. They don't like to follow trends. So they just like to have the freedom to just do what they want, feel what they want, and just think what they want. Uh, they love being a humanitarian. So they love to help people and they love to give back to the world. And they love far out thinking. So these are your people who are visionaries. They're always thinking into the future and they're always thinking next level. They always just have new quirky ideas going on in their brain. What an Aquarius moon requires in their relations with others is uniqueness. They have to be around people who are open minded. They can't stand being around closed minded people. And they have to be around people who are very friendly because they're an air sign. So they love to socialize. And they have to be around people who are very adventurous. So these are your kinds of people who like to try different sex positions, different kinds of foods, you know, see different kinds of movies, whatever it is, they just like to try different things. And if you're not open to that, then an Aquarius moon is going to find you very boring. Pisces moon. So a Pisces moon, they're very sensitive and they're very compassionate. Their reactions are very emotional and very dramatic. So these are your people who are always in their feelings. These are your people who are very sentimental, so you have to really be gentle with them. What makes a Pisces moon comfortable is being in their imagination. So these are your people who have a hard time being in the three-dimensional world. They have to be in their fantasy land in order to feel complete happiness and have fun because if they're too much in routine, then they're going to feel very depressed because that's just not the world that they operate in. They're a very spiritual sign, so they operate well in the fantasy world. These are your people who are very romantic, so they're into the fairy tale love. They love creatively expressing themselves, so these are your people who are into art. They like to dance, they like to sing, and they just use creativity to just express their emotions. Pisces moons... They have to be in free-flowing energy. This is where they feel comfortable. They can't be in a box. They can't feel restricted. And that's because Pisces is the fish. So they move like a fish. Just like how a fish moves with the currents of the ocean, Pisces moves with the currents of life. So they just can't deal with just being fenced in and not being able to just freely express all their emotions that they're feeling because that'll make them depressed. That'll drive them crazy. So... They're very free-spirited energy, and they just have to live a free-spirited life. What a Pisces moon requires in their relations to others is good vibes. They can't stand being around people who are negative, and that's because 
Pisces energy is an energy that likes to feel good and they like other people around them to feel good as well. And they're also very sensitive to energy. So if you're the kind of person that likes to put out bad energy into the universe, Pisces moons, they'll pick up on that easily and they're going to be very put off by that. Pisces moons like to be around people who offer that deep connection. And this is because Pisces energy is a very spiritual energy and they're a water sign. So they like that one-to-one -one soul connection with somebody. They don't like on the surface, superficial relationships. And they like to be around people who are very adventurous. So they like to live life to the fullest. They like to accept life as it is and accept what life has to offer them. So if you're just a very closed-minded person or you just don't like to have a good time, then a Pisces moon is going to be very bored with you. Pisces moons have to be around people who are very imaginative. They can't stand being around people who are too left brain or too logical. And this is because Pisces energy operates in the right brain. And they have to be around people who keep them grounded because this is an energy that could be a little bit messy, a little bit all over the place, and a little bit irresponsible. So they need somebody to keep them on task and keep them structured while still offering them that freedom that they like to have in life. A celebrity that has a Pisces moon is Janae Aiko. And not only is she a Pisces moon, she's also a Pisces sun. So she really lives in that fantasy realm and she's just very creative. And she's just a very romantic kind of person. She has this really mystical, magical, whimsical kind of vibe to her. And one of my favorite songs by her is Sativa. It's one of the best songs ever. So if you haven't listened to it, please go listen to it. Other celebrities that have this placement are Kendrick Lamar and Kanye West. That's all I have for you guys today. I apologize for taking so long on this video. I've just been super busy doing stuff and I'm still recovering from my cold. But if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to respond to you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Love you guys.